What's going on, guys? Today is gonna be more of a oh gosh, that was a wasp. That scared the shit out of me. Today's gonna be more of a uh, sorry about that vlog type uh, video today. Give me one moment. Ah, throw that away. Um, so today I am actually going to go to a few dealerships to see if I can't partner up with them so that I can, you know, really try and start doing some car reviews, you know, for the channel. I'm gonna start the car up here. It is hot, hot, hot. Put this stuff down. I'm gonna need to get some gas too. It's 100 degrees. I tell you, man, this Texas weather, I can't. You think you'd be used to it by now, but you never get used to it. That's the sad truth. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to a couple dealerships today um, in hopes that, you know, I'll be able to talk to a sales rep or somebody who, you know, is gonna be willing and understanding to, you know, kind of help me out um, so I can get some reviews for the channel for you guys. Um, I watched the video. Uh, yeah, let, me, let me put the camera. Yeah, so um, like I was saying, um, I'm gonna go to, go to a couple of dealerships and hope high hopes, you know, that I'll be able to talk to a sales rep or somebody, you know, who's going to be, you know, what, uh, on the younger side, um, willing to, you know, kind of help me out. Um, I recently watched the video. I mean, I watched the video in the past, but, and I kind of took initiative on it. I tried. I went to a couple dealerships, talked to, you know, a few people, um, and it's not easy, you know, these dealerships, a lot of them, they, you know, if you're not buying a car, you know, they don't really want your business. So, um, I'm just gonna try and go and you know because uh the guy's video i watched tall guy car reviews he made a video over you know how he gets you know car dealerships to let them do reviews over their cars and i think he was saying in the video you know he went to like you know at least like 10 to 15 dealerships and out of all those 10 to 15 only three dealerships really rock with him you know because i mean he keeps it 100 real you know he tells them exactly what they're gonna do and even then, so, you know, they might they might rock with him at, in the beginning, but then later on, once they maybe, you know, get around to actually go watch a video, you know, they're just like, hey, you know, we can't be a part of, you know, how you're going to be driving the cars and, you know, representing us, you know, so they might they might rock with you in the beginning, but after, you know, afterward, they might not. Um, but I'm going to be a little different. I know, I know, you know, depending on the car, a little bit more the analytics. So, you know, I'm going to go, I don't know how many dealerships I'm going to go to, but there was actually a brand new Ford dealership that just opened up not too, too far from where I live. So I'm going to, that's probably not going to be the first one that I head to. Uh, well, I might hit there first. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I got to stop and get gas first. But that's what today's vlog is going to be about. Um, I'm going to kind of bring you guys along. I'm not necessarily going to bring you guys inside. Um, it's kind of, kind of. You know, cause I, like I said, I've done this in the past and it is difficult, you know, like, cause as he was, you know, as he was explaining on the video, you got to walk in there with leverage, you know, cause YouTube is a business and they have a business as well. These dealerships, they spend a stupid amount of money, you know, every single month, year, whatever on advertising and everything. And, you know, even then, so when we come along and we're like, you know, Hey, you know, if you guys are you know gonna be good and you know we can represent you guys and you know we can help you guys get some more views and get some more customers in and we'll do it all for free you know because at the end of the day it's a business it's not costing them anything and it's not costing us anything it's free it's free marketing for them but even then so you know some of the dealerships they just on some bs you know and as tall guys was saying in his video you know honestly sometimes it just depends uh between like who the manager or the dm is you know if it's an old guy and they don't really understand you know the the power of youtube nowadays then you know you might not you might be out of luck you know in terms of trying to get that dealership to work with you but if you know the dealership you know has a younger guy or you know girl whoever and they understand the power of youtube what it can do nowadays you know then yeah you might be a little bit more successful because that's what i feel like a lot of these guys don't understand you know when when you want to know you know about a car or something you go onto youtube and you look up videos because that's what people do that's what people like me do we go out we do these car 
reviews so that your average person who might not know anything about the car might learn, you know, maybe if, if it's not even a whole lot, they'll at least learn a little something that, that they didn't know before. And sometimes us being car enthusiasts, we know a lot, hell lot of, a lot of more, more about cars than these, uh, these sales reps even claim that, you know, that even though they get training on it, you know, I remember there was a time I was in a, riding in a, whenever the brand new uh, Mustang GT came out, I was riding with a friend because he was test driving it and the sales guy, he didn't even really know too much about the car and I was like, yeah, the car has this and this and this and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that and I'm just like, you know, you're the one who's supposed to be trying to sell us the car, man, and you can't even name, you know, all the features and techs that, you know, these cars come with and they have, so, you know, that's why... You know that that's why you have to understand the power of YouTube but even then so like I said some of these managers they just don't understand the power of YouTube so it just makes it harder for us you know to try and bring out this content um, but I'm gonna try and hit today I'm gonna hit up a, a Ford dealership I might try and hit up more than one I think I know of at least two within the general area I'm definitely gonna hit up a Chevy dealership I'm gonna try a Dodge a Toyota and a Honda dealership as well that's like what two that's like five dealerships right there um and there's also i know there's also like a range rover jaguar dealership there's also i could if i really wanted to um i could try and go hit up lamborghini in dallas but i don't know about that y'all uh that's gonna be that, that's gonna be i'm just you know i'm just starting out so you know i have you have to have leverage you know in order to also do these car reviews as well plus if i were to do lamborghini dallas um i'd want to have to do it inside the facility i wouldn't even well i was wrecking i wouldn't even want to go bring the car outside because one it is too hot for me to be sitting out in the sun because i think what i'm gonna do you know in the beginning is you know i'm not even gonna ask to drive the car maybe some dealerships yeah if they don't mind you know they'll actually let me test drive the car for you guys because i know that's that's what you guys really want you know yeah i can sit here and talk about the features the analytics all that stuff all day long but at the end of the day you want to know how the car drives how it you know the comfortability the, liv the livability of the car you know on a day-to-day -day basis you know because that's what the, you know that's what we do we're spending most of the time behind the wheel so you know you want something that you can drive that's going to be fun enjoyable and not going to be too harsh you know you want to know about all the gas mileage and all that stuff so that's what i'm going to try and bring to you guys but i just want you guys to also understand me just starting out trying to do this i don't have enough leverage you know in the beginning to possibly you know co help convince them you know to let me drive the car because i'm trying to do what you know some of these other youtubers do as well I don't really want anybody to be in the car with me. I kind of just want to be able to just, you know, be able to build that and have that trust to where, you know, when I ask to do a car review, you know, they're just going to hand me the keys, you know, and we can sign all the paperwork, whatever, you know, if I'm liable or anything, even though, you know, I'm a good driver, I'm not going to do anything bad or wrong, you know, but I want to be able to have that trust so that I can give you guys from my point of view, my perspective, what it's like, you know, to drive, you know, that specific type of car. And also, you know, um, let me know down below what kind of car, what kind of cars you guys want me to, uh, guys, what kind of cars you guys want me to, you know, uh, review so I can, you know, make sure that I, you know, I look up to, you know, a few dealerships and see, you know, if I can't talk to somebody in there, you know, who might be willing to, you know, help me out. Um, also want to hit up a Jetta dealership as well. You know, I had, I did a review over a Jetta TSI, uh, way back in 2016 and honestly, I didn't think that video was going to very well but i mean that's one of out of all my videos on my youtube channel that's that's up there i think that's the second or third best i think it's actually the second best aside from that camaro video that i dropped that's the most views i've gotten and honestly i thought that video was gonna be shit honestly like i kind of just put something together with it and i mean i had errands run that day anyway so honestly to this day I, I still get comments on that video and i'm just like that's crazy you know years later i'm thinking this video is not going to be a huge hit or success and it y'all proved me wrong and you know it, it's still getting views and still getting comments so i mean that's you know that's what i'm going to try and do um but i'm gonna run and get some gas and then i think i'm gonna head to the uh chevy dealership first and then from there i'll head to the uh toyota honda and dodge dealership and we'll kind of go from there
Didn't break the bank today. 19 bucks to fill up my car. I'm loving it. Gas is getting cheaper and cheaper. It's what, 203? Not bad. dealership like I said the Chevy dealership about to be right here on your left hand side reliable Chevrolet and then not too far from here we got the Honda and the Toyota and the Dodge dealership so I'm gonna make I can't make a u-turn here shit I'm gonna bust the Yui right up here I've actually been here before with a friend. Um, I think he was looking at buying a car one one time, but yeah, they brought they got a pretty good uh, the cars that they got on the used lot. I, I drive by here almost every other day, and they got a pretty good like you know used car lot. Got some cool cars. And I would love you know if these guys would be down, you know, love to get my do some reviews over these cars. We're about to pull up. Wish me, wish me luck, guys. Because like I said this. Sometimes this is a little nervous. It's good to be nervous, but you know, I just don't. I just gotta remember where to park. I don't not remember where to park at all. All right, so I just got back uh, from the Chevy dealership. Um, so I walked in there, you know, um, kind of just you know give you guys firsthand what what it'll be like i walked in there wasn't really greeted by anyone i kind of just you know had to peek around see who i needed to talk to um first guy i talked to was a, a rep for guest services he said you'd have to talk to somebody in sales I went to somebody in sales they said you'd have to talk to a manager so i went and talked to a manager uh got his business card here um he said to come back on wednesdays after two because right now as I could see that they were busy so he was too busy enough to you know be able for me to just sit down and explain you know what I do and how I can help them I explained to one of his um I don't know maybe if it was assistant manager or maybe another his sales rep or somebody I don't know what his position was but I explained to him you know that YouTube is a business and you know I want to help them out by um you know doing some free advertising and marketing for them and I mean he was shaking his head you know like he understood what I was basically talking about and this guy he was probably around the age of probably like 40 40 something years old so I mean he wasn't too too old and the manager as well he wasn't that he wasn't very he wasn't that much of an old guy either so um, uh, but 
one thing though, uh, when I was t explaining to one of the guys, like I said, I don't know whether it was a a, uh, a manager, assistant manager, or something, but um, he was as he was speaking in terms, he thought I was talking in terms of their used cars that they have here on the lot, and um, I wasn't necessarily talking about used cars. And I told him I was like, well, you know, we can work that out, because um, like I said, they have. I mean, every time I drive by. kind of a um an on the spot excuse me this is kind of like an on the spot type of deal you know it's not going to take them you know if they want to sit there and say like oh you know we need a day to think about it or something this is not one of those type of things where you, you really honestly need time to think about it because usually when you go to these dealerships and if you're going to try and do these car reviews and things usually it's something that they can sit there right on the spot and tell you whether or not they're going to be able to do it or not it's not something that's going to take you know a couple days for them to you know make a decision or something of that nature um so you know take that with a grain of salt um so you know if you're trying to recreate what i do and i'm you know i'm trying to recreate what other youtubers do trying to help my channel grow and build so i can help you guys you know give you guys more knowledge um you know you have to understand that you know you can't let some of these dealerships you know you know jerk you around and say oh you know this and that blah 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 you know usually when you go to these dealerships majority of the time if they're not busy and they have the time to sit down and you explain your whole spiel and everything how it works what you do it's usually a decision that can be made right on the spot this is not something that you know is gonna they're gonna need a day or two days or however long you know they want to sit there and say that they're gonna need to think about it, it, it it's not that hard you know honestly um you just have to find like i said you just got to find the right person to talk to honestly because i mean once I, you know, let's say for instance, you know, I talked to the Chevy, you know, I come back on Wednesday, I talked to the Chevy dealership and, you know, the, the DM uh, or the GM, you know, he's ready, you know, he's like willing to help me out and for me to help him get more uh, customers and business, you know, once you got the, the G, uh, GM on your side, you basically, everyone else, you know, then I'll be able to walk in there and be like, you know, hey, I know Mark, you know, and, you know, you be basically be able to, you know, that whole dealership, whatever the car they get on their lot, they have a ZR1 in there, you know, it's in the, uh, in the floor, and I, I took a picture on my Snapchat, but, you know, I'll be able to do reviews over cars, you know, anything that they have through their lot, you know, I'll be able to sit there and do a review over it. Now, like I, I explained to them as well, I was like, I don't want to necessarily drive the car, I, I kind of told them, you know, I was just being honest, you know, like I said, I kind of want to build the trust up, so that way when we build the trust, you mentioned, you know, you guys can let me drive the car. Like I said, I didn't explain that to the, uh, the GM because he was busy. Um, I explained that to, I don't know if it was assistant manager or someone else. I don't really know. But I explained that to him. You know, he kind of shook his head and, you know, act like he, you know, he understood where I was coming from and what I was talking about. But anyways, I am right now about to pull up at the, I think I'll go to the uh, Toyota dealership first since it's right here in front of me. And then from there, I'll go to either the Honda or the, um, Honda or the
my car from these guys, you know, so um, we're going to see if I can't go in here and see if I can't talk to, I don't know, either a sales rep or if I have to talk to the, oh my gosh, if I have to talk to the GM, almost, it's almost hit me, if I have to talk to the GM, talk to the GM and, you know, see if I can't get some of these reviews in here. Yeah, a lot of the guys in here are also older as well, so. I don't know how this is all gonna turn out, but you know, we'll see you guys. I'll keep y'all in the loop. All right guys, so I'm back. I uh, just got out of the Honda dealership. Um, I would say for the most part, it went pretty well. Um, got manager's name was Brian. I, well, actually the guy told me that was one of the manager's names. Let me actually check his business card here real quick. Uh, general sales manager, yeah, Brian. Really chill dude. Um, we sat down, we talked a little bit. Um, you know, he asked me a couple questions. One thing I want to stress, I cannot stress enough to you guys that tall guys, you know, shout out to him for making that video that he was stressing me. And, you know, I'm really starting to see that now. You have to have leverage, you know, in order for some of these dealerships to work with you. Um, that's why he was saying in his videos, you know, when he first started out, he had a few hundred uh, subscribers. He didn't even really ask to drive the cars. He just, you know, was like, hey, can I have the keys? And I want to talk about the ins and outs of the car, you know. Um, with this dealership, it, it might help me out the fact that, one, I get my car service here. Um, I have a sales or a uh, service advisor who usually I always go to, I go to and she hooks me up with deals and everything when I come here and get my car serviced. And then two, my parents, uh, we've had another Honda, Honda Odyssey 2003 that they bought from them ever since, you know, way back when. And then my car we got from this dealership as well. So, you know, I have a huge, you know, and I, I was explaining that to him, sorry guys, it's hot. I was explaining that to him, you know, I, I've been a service, you know, I've been a customer with these guys for a while, you know, I even mentioned, you know, uh, my service advisor's name, you know, um, she's not working today, I actually need to get my, some fix on my car, um, but yeah, I cannot stress enough, you know, guys, you have to build up your subscribers, building subscribers is not easy, trust me, I've been trying, you know, that that's not easy, that's why, you know, we, we say what we say at the end of the video is, you know, please subscribe, you know, comment down below, like the video, share it. You know, we don't say that just to say it. We say it for a reason. So, you know, because it helps up. You guys help us and give us leverage. Um, but right next door is a Dodge dealership, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, Ram dealership. So I'm going to go there. But, I mean, Brian, he seemed like a cool dude. Um, he told me the same thing. You know, the Chevy dealership. Oh, crap. Had the remote start and didn't even start the car. I was about to say, where are my keys at? Um... Yeah, he basically told me the same thing the Chevy dealership told me. Um, they're busy, so he said, he gave me his phone number, he said Monday would be a good time to come back and call, or talk to us, you know, come back and talk to him, so. I, but I work next week a lot, so I'll have to see, you know, and then I, I leave for school, I start school on the 26, so. <laughs> and I probably should have tried to do this a little earlier before, you know, I leave to go back to school. And that's also something that we talked about as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, from the vibe I feel, he seemed like a pretty cool, chill dude. So we're going to go to this Dodge dealership right now, which is literally right across the street here. And I'm going to pull up right now and see if I can't talk to someone and see if I can't get some to talk to and see if I can't, you know, do some marketing for these guys. And then right across the street from them is a uh, Toyota dealership as well. And yeah, there actually is a Ford dealership right down the street. Not the one that, the brand new one that just opened up. There is another one um, right down the street as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ch hit them up too. And then I may try and hit up a uh, Range Rover dealership as well. Um, so I will, uh, let you guys know what happens whenever I get back. All right, I am back lickety split. Um, <laughs> that literally took no less than about three minutes. Um, walked in, so it looks like, you know, if you're gonna try and, you know, do this, go during the weekdays. So I walked in there, uh, talked to an uh, older dude. Um, he basically said, you know, he's not able to make that decision, you know, because the majority of the time when I walk in here, the first person I'm talking to is not the DM, or the GM. Um, it was a sales rep, so he said he wouldn't be able to make that decision. He had to go get a uh, manager. 
Um, then it turns out the managers aren't here, so he, he told me to, you know, come back during the weekday. Um, uh, so, but I got his business card, you know, just in case, and asked him, you know, what a good time was, and he said, you know, probably around like 10 o'clock or so. Um, so I will try and come back on Monday to see if I can't, um, you know, see if I can't talk to a, a general manager and see, you know, if I can't get the Dodge dealership because I would love to do, you know, some reviews over some Dodges. Don't believe that. Uh, but right now I just pulled up to, I hope these are connected and they are good. Um, right now I pulled up to, uh, the, uh, Toyota dealership. If these guys are connected, uh, let me go this way. And this dealership, my dad actually got his truck from a while ago, which he still has. He's driving a 2006 Tacoma, and I mean, it's 2019 now. The thing is, he's about ready to get rid of that thing and get something else. try and uh, see hopefully you know I can hopefully you know I can talk to you know some type of manager you know somebody who will be able to you know give me give me a little something rather than you know come back during the weekday but so far that's that's what I keep getting told which is not a bad thing you know I understand dealerships are busy you know and everything um, but hopefully I'm pulling in right now hopefully somebody in here will be able to, you know, kind of hear me out, and hopefully, you know, the goal is to get at least one yes by the end of the day. Um, so, like I said, I got a, I got a few dealerships, a few more dealerships I'm going to try and go to. The next one after this is going to be a Ford dealership. Um, so, I will keep you guys in the loop. Alright, back again. That one took even less time than Dodge dealership. I was literally in there for maybe like one minute, two minute tops. Um, same thing, guys. Uh, can't stress that enough. Probably, you know, if you're going to try and do this, go during the weekday. I walked in, asked if I could do some free marketing. He said that would be the manager, but the manager's not in. So, um, but you know, I'm always trying to make sure I get the business cards and everything. They gave me a phone number and extension to reach him at. Dude's name is John. This is the Toyota dealership. And then over there is the Dodge, and then over there is the Honda dealership. Uh, these are dangerous, man. Chevy dealership so literally <laughs> it's like four dealerships right back to back right right near each other um, but right now I'm gonna go ahead to the um, what did I do with my radar oh it's still plugged up top right now I'm gonna go ahead to the uh, four dealership hopefully like I said probably just with my luck you know manager won't be in but you know I'll, I'll try my best to get thing wants to interrupt me i'll try my best to get a um a business card or a phone number you know someone i can talk you know because that's i guess that's you know that's how it's gonna go guys you can't really you know work your way around talking to a sales rep and you know maybe try and talking and reasoning with them you know they're always going to tell you you got to talk to a, uh, a gm which i don't mind um you know like i said before you know you just gotta hope that the gm is going to be understanding and a bit on the younger side um you know brian at the honda dealership he seemed very understanding you know we he asked me a little about where i'm from what i do like aside from work and everything and um so you know he said come back on you know monday or you know call me and we'll see you know what we can do um so you know that's what i'm going to try and do and i actually believe if i stay down this road I'm actually going to hit another dealership, or not a, uh, a used car lot, I believe, or a pre-owned. I 
actually, I think that was one right there, Legacy. Uh, yeah, I might have to go back that way and see if I can. Car rental, car sales, Hertz. I should have stopped there too. Uh, but I know there's another dealership down here that I could try. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, it's a steady grind, you know, I can't stress that enough, that leverage, you gotta have that leverage, you don't have that leverage, you know, if I would've walked in there and been like, you know, yeah, I got, you know, 3,000 subscribers, you know, things probably might, you know, it might've been, you know, an easy decision on the spot, okay, you know, this guy's getting, you know, it's 3,000 subscribers, but I did explain to him, though, you know, I have done car reviews in the past, you know, just like I was telling y'all, that Jetta TSI that I did on my channel, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but I still get comments to this day on that video, and that's one of my second, third highest, you know, watch views on the channel, and right now, I think, I think it's sitting at 11,000 views, aside from a Camaro video that has 14,000 views, um, so, you know, that just, that just goes with saying that just because you don't think a video that you put out there is going to be successful, and it's not going to grow, give it time, man, and it'll come around, you know, those things... And that's the thing, when you put them online, they're they're on there until you take them out. So, we're going to head to this Ford dealer. Actually, we're going to stop at this Autoflex dealership real quick. Because I've passed by them a, jewel, a lot of times and always looked at the cars, but never, like, uh, stopped to see what they got. And... I'm gonna see if I can't stop in here and see if I can't talk to somebody about doing some marketing for them. So, like I said, same thing. Uh, they don't take walk-ins here, actually. They have to, you have to schedule an appointment, so I'll probably be expecting a phone call. Maybe, maybe not um, from someone. We're gonna try and go for this. dealership is because actually you know what I think it's back the other way if I'm being real with you yeah I think it's back the other way I think I'm going the wrong way yeah I am shit well, that sucks um yeah but with that auto flex uh leasing I left them because I, I honestly didn't even know if they sold cars but they she said they did um, I left them my business card. Um, that's also another thing, you know, you guys are going to try and do this, you know, have business cards that you can leave people. Um, so I left her one of my business cards and, you know, hopefully I'll get a call back. But if I'm going back to this side, I will run into Lamborghini, Dallas, I believe Range Rover and Jaguar. I don't know if there's a Jetta dealership down over here. Lamborghini Dallas. Um, I don't know if I want to stop in there yet. I don't know if I have enough balls to just walk in there, you know, and hey, you know, I want to do some, oh, we got a Mazda dealership right here, though, so I'm going to stop in here and see if I can't talk to somebody. So I'm going to, hopefully, probably going to be the same result, you know, probably not gonna get any yes it's probably the same thing you know managers not in come back you know during the weekday but it doesn't hurt to try you know I'm trying to build up my confidence as well so I will uh, report back to you guys when I get out of here all right guys um, I just got back out of the Mazda dealership I work next week, 
gonna try and come back and uh, see if I can't, uh, you know, sit down and talk to some of the uh, these managers. And I'll probably, you know, definitely, you, you know, you want to make sure you look the part as well. So I'm gonna dress nicer, obviously. I mean, I'm not dressed like horribly, but I'm just in like my Converse, you know, T-shirt and uh, some gym shorts. Um, you know, being a vlogger, you know, we don't always have to dress professionally and everything. But uh, you know, I guess when you want to make that first initial connection, it'd probably be best, you know, to dress a little nicer. Um, but right now. Porsche I was talking about that Chevy dealership has it might be a base model I don't even know um yeah uh met with the I don't know whether she was a sales rep or something but uh she seemed really nice uh, I gave her my business card she told me to send over you know kind of a little of a uh a little bit of a brochure email it to her you know so she can give it to the uh general manager you know to see whether or not they want to work with me or not um but, you know, every time I go into these places, guys, people are, you know, majority of the time, they're really nice, aside from the Chevy dealership. Every time I come to the Chevy dealership, like I said, I've been here more than one time. They never come and, like, greet you. You always have to be the one to go and find someone to talk to. All the other dealerships that I've been to say, it's always, you know, somebody's greeting me, asking me if they can help me with something, you know. This dealership right here, I mean, I'd like to work with them, but, I mean, I don't know. Um, but... I'm going to head over to a Ford dealership, see if I can't give them my business card, and uh, we'll kind of go from there, and I'll call it a day, and then, you know, I'll try and pick this back up, you know, Monday, Tuesday, whenever I get off work, if I have enough time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go try and find this Ford dealership, because I honestly don't even know where the hell it is, and uh, then I'll let you guys know what they tell me from out of that one, and then after that, I'm going to wrap this video up.
All right, so I'm at the Ford dealership, and then actually right next to this dealership is a Nissan dealership, so I'm actually lied. I'm going to make one more stop after this one, because, I mean, why not? And, uh, like I said, broken record, give me my whole spiel, give me a business card, in and out. All right, so we are leaving the Ford dealership. Excuse me, same thing. Manager wasn't in. I left my, I got a business card, and I also left my own personal business card as well. So, I will, excuse me, I will try back on Monday. I got a nice 2019, I believe, GT350 here. Actually, these guys' dealerships are connected, so I can just go right to the Nissan. Do their own parking lot right here. Boy dealership is nice though. They also got a GT500 out in the front lot. I think it's like a 20, it's probably like a 2012 or 2011 model is what it looks like. But right now I'm pulling up to the Nissan dealership. Courtesy Nissan. Um, where am I parking? Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I just got back from the Nissan dealership. I actually accidentally ran out of business cards. Ford got my last business card. Um, so I will be getting back with these dealerships on Monday. Best believe that. And high hopes in regards that you know I'll be able to sit down and talk to you know a few of these managers. Like I said, it's not every single one that you're gonna win, but all you need is a couple yeses, and I mean, these dealer shops are huge. I haven't seen a G Nissan GTR out in this one, but I mean, this they have a Mustang GT out here with the RTR uh, front package, and I mean, you know, it's just the potential. I also, so I'm in Dallas personally, so there's also other dealerships like Park Place, Mercedes, Audi. I know there's a Porsche dealership. They also have an exotics like. Uh,
probably going to be a little bit on the longer side, but, um, you know, I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to try, so uh, I will keep you guys in the loops. If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe.